Hey yo, Mark here for Mark's Max Muscle. And it's time to yet again analyze one of the eight mandatory poses. Now, so far, we've reviewed three of the eight mandatories. First, the front double by. Next was the most muscular. And my latest video was done on the front lat pose. Now, of course, my three champions for those were Arnold Schwarzenegger for the front double by, Ronnie Coleman, yeah, buddy, for the most muscular, and of course, Dorian Yates reign supreme in the front lat pose. Now next up on my list is the classic side tricep pose. Now keep in mind, this is not to decide who had the most fully developed tricep per se, but who really nailed the side tricep pose and made the most of their physiques. Now without further ado, let's have a look at some side tricep poses. This is of course Eugene Sandow. And right from the start, I'm going to make an exception with this guy here. This is not a proper side tricep pose, per se, but considering it's probably not even the 1900s yet, we're going to give him a break and just say this is probably the best side tricep pose of his time. But that'll be the last uh, improper side tricep pose that you'll see on my list. Next, we got Reg Park. Now, here's how to really nail this shot. Real small waist and... Uh, Thick chest makes this shot really effective, and of course, having a big side tricep makes a... Now, I like this shot here, Reg, in a, in a t-shirt. Not too many shots that I'll put like this on my lists, but he does look impressive with this, the tricep bulges out. Now, speaking of bulging triceps, have a look at Libor Minerik. Now, I'm not sure if I pronounced his name right, but... As I was going through the list of old bodybuilders, I mean, I looked at this guy's tricep, and wow, very impressive. More than happy to put him on my list. It's unbelievable here. Uh, competition ready here. Now here's Bill Pearl. He really made this uh, shot effective. Look how thick his arm is. Bill Pearl's got to be one of my favorite bodybuilders. Highly underrated. Whenever we talk of uh, the most uh, greatest bodybuilders of all time, Bill Pearl really definitely should be at the top of a lot of lists. Considering when Arnold was Olympia champion his first couple years, Bill Pearl was arguably still the best bodybuilder in the world. Of course, the NABA pro, Mr. Universe, being uh, as close to the Olympia as you could get. Anyway, on with the list. Here's Floyd Obum, Odom. Not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Haven't heard of this bodybuilder before this list. It's interesting getting uh, getting exposed to all these bodybuilders that I never never realized existed, like this guy, Bob Hines. Very impressive side tricep. Now, of course, this guy I've I've heard of before, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Probably not the best pose for him, but earlier on in his career, he, uh, as you can see in this picture, quite impressive. Frank Zane, I always liked Frank Zane's side tricep. Really uh, made that tricep shine, of course. The rest of his physique just flowed into it. One of the best side triceps. Probably not the winner of my list, but definitely he was up there. And of course, this guy here. Maybe even a little more impressive. Hard to beat this guy. Serge Nibre. One of my favorites. Look at this as he's training. You can almost imagine him at the grocery stores, waiting, holding his groceries, trying to look impressive. Imagine walking by, seeing that. Here's Al Beckles. Of course, uh, again, not the best shot for him, but pretty good nonetheless. Now here's Franco Colombo. I debated whether or not to put this guy on the list, but in the last minute I decided to throw him in there. Not bad. Not bad at all. High insertion of the tricep, but here's Mike Katz. I found a little trouble uh, finding pictures of him hitting the side tricep, but I know for a fact that he does hit a very impressive side tricep pose. Here is a little bit better of a picture of him. Mike Katz, one of my favorites. Mohamed Makawe, he, uh, the guy really made this shot 
effective in his uh, his arsenal of poses. Hard to beat him in this shot. Just made it look so good. It's just such a natural pose for this guy. It's another thing about these poses. When a guy can just really nail it naturally and not look like he's uh, some sort of pain, which a lot of these guys do, trying to trying to hit this side tricep pose. Not Muhammad. Hit Tom Platts. Not the best, but effective nonetheless. Now, here's Samir Banu. Look at the impressive size of his tricep here. One of the best guys. Up, up there with Frank Zane. Totally different, but i got to rank these guys very close in this, uh, this pose. Here he is at his hotel room, waiting to perform. Yeah, Ugly-ass wallpaper back there. Jusip Wilkosh. Now, I like this guy, and I really should learn how to pronounce his name correctly, but I've heard many uh, different variations of how to pronounce this guy's name. Nice side tricep pose, nonetheless. Jusip. Bertel Fox. Look at the size of the arm on this guy. He's not the best uh, at most of the mandatories, but really nailed the side tricep pose. Pretty impressive. Slightly more impressive than this guy here, Lee Haney. Mr. Olympia. Eight-time Mr. Olympia. Not a bad side tricep. Here's Jorma Ratty, a bodybuilder that I've never heard of before making this list. Pretty impressive. It uh, reminds me of Libor Minerik's uh, tricep. Shaped uh, similar. Gary Stridum impressed me with the striations in his tricep. Now, as I was uh, saying earlier in uh, Mohamed Makawe's case, have a look at this guy here. Lee Labrada. Very natural uh, pose for him. Lee Labrada. Yeah, the closest thing to having a fountain of youth. Yes, sir. Still looks great. Still to today, looks great. Now, have a look at Paul DeMea. Need I say anything more? Talk about domination in a pose. I mean, I hate to oversell this guy, but... I don't see anybody touching him in this pose. Anyway, here's Francis Benfado. Not bad. Of course, I always place these two French gentlemen together. Thierry Pastel. Just very impressive in the side tricep. Not too many pictures of him hitting this shot, but in this pose here, his arm looks bigger than his waist. Not bad. One of my favorite bodybuilders. Now, here's uh, Dorian Yates. Now, as I said at the start, there's not a whole lot of emphasis placed on tricep development per se in this list because Dorian Yates has not a very impressive tricep to say the very least but when he reaches his arm back to nail the shot not too many guys could stand next to him which uh, really emphasizes the illusion of bodybuilding now here's Andreas Munzer talk about striations of course, one of my favorite bodybuilders from the 90s. Very impressive. Mike Matarazzo. Got to throw him in here. Huge uh, biceps, but as you can see by this picture, not bad triceps as well. Kevin Lavroni. Um, my wife's uh, favorite bodybuilder. She expressed in one of my videos. Very impressive uh, side tricep. For a mass monster, he really had a small, tight waist. Yeah, here's uh, the infamous Jay Cutler. Now, I was impressed with this shot here. Jay Cutler is uh, just excellent in the uh, all of the mandatories, really. Just looks very sharp and crisp in this picture here. Here's Lee Priest. Not my favorite bodybuilder, but... A lot of people's favorites. Now, here's Phil Heath, the current IFBB Mr. Olympia champion. Not a bad side tricep. A lot of people will place him at their uh, top. 
a dummy. He's uh, he's up there, but a lot of the newer guys I just don't find have the the flow. The guys from the 90s, I think that's where uh, the shot hit its peak. Now here's a younger picture of Phil Heath, and I really think he looks better. The smaller waist, very impressive. Uh, this is this is his best side tricep pose, I think, when he was younger. Striations there. Of course, looks good here, a little bit later on in his career. Here's old Branch Warren. i got to give him his due. He uh, looks pretty impressive here. Not bad. I uh, initially wasn't going to add him on the list. But here's a guy that I definitely am going to add on the list. I think he's been featured in all my mandatory poses so far. Cedric McMillan. One of my favorites uh, of the competitive guys. Now here's Roly Winkler. Now in the opposite angle of uh, Dorian Yates, this guy has probably the most fully developed tricep of all time. But in the actual side tricep pose, is it's impressive, but I, in my belief, I, I think it should be a little bit more impressive than it is. Here's William Bonak, one of the new Hungry Lions of the IFBB. Not a bad side tricep pose. Now here's Josh Lenardowitz. Not Libowalski, but Josh Lenardowitz. I got his name incorrect there in my, uh, I believe it was the front lat pose list. So, made sure, but he actually looks very good in this side tricep pose. So, high hopes for Lenardowitz. So, as I uh, narrow my list down, I usually add a guy from each uh, era and select from two, three, or maybe even four guys. But for this list, I really have to be honest. There's really only one guy that, uh, in, have a look at him here. This is Paul DeMea. Of course, there's just, he stands head and shoulders above all the other guys in the side tricep. And Libor Minerick, I believe his name was, he was quite impressive. He was uh, probably the second best. But this guy here, Paul DeMea, Head and shoulders above everybody else. Just impressive, to say the very least. He was known as Quadzilla, known for his, his huge quads, but in this pose here, I gotta say, that tricep really stands out. He is the Mark's Max Muscle Side Tricep King. Paul DeMea. Well, that about does it for the side tricep. Next on my list of one of the eight mandatory poses is the rear double bicep. One of my favorite poses and definitely one of the most impressive. So keep an eye open for that one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did. That's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.